Now that we've looked at what we can do with custom functions and looked at some documentation, let's try an example of our own. So we're going to start with this spreadsheet. You know, you can click this link in the description. You don't have to enter it out letter by letter. Uh, but we're going to work with this spreadsheet, which contains some information on rectangles. It just contains some basic information about width and height of different rectangles. And we're going to create two custom functions. We're going to call one perimeter, and it's going to take two parameters, the width and height, and return the perimeter. We're going to create one called area, and it's also going to take two parameters, and it's going to return uh, the area for this rectangle. So for the first function, it's very basic, very simple. The function should return two times the width of the rectangle plus two times the height of the rectangle. That's all you need for the perimeter of a, of a rectangle. All you have to do is look at the width and the height of this rectangle. For the area function, it's just the width times the height. So we can calculate that very easily. Now for each one of these, we should make sure that we write js.comments so that we can identify what they do. We should also write a js.comment that explains what your functions do for the entire file. So you can include a file overview, an author, and a version there. And then you can include the parameters and the return annotations, as well as the custom function annotation for your other two functions. Uh, when you use your spreadsheet, when you enter these into your spreadsheet, you know, so that you can calculate these values, make sure that you watch for those so that you can see exactly how this works. Now, your spreadsheet look, should look something like this when you're all done. It should can calculate the perimeter and the area, and you should see that those uh, functions that you've written are available when you start writing the, the formula into your sheet. So try it out. Uh, good luck. I hope that you enjoy it, and thanks for watching.